Hey, uh, all right, I just made you, a I'm gonna make you a quick video and then I have to get on to work for the day. Um, but here we go. So I typed in buy solar panel for home in Lahore, Pakistan. I'm not sure if it's Lahore or Lahore. Um, but in any case, buy solar panel for home because um, you're mostly selling products for people's homes, it looks like. Um, or buy solar, so you could change this, buy solar panel for roof. Lahore, Pakistan, right? If they wanna put something on the roof. Well, these are your competitors. Pakistan Solar Traders, Solar Shop PK, Zuray Solar Pakistan, um, then OLX, Eleven Stop, um, Alibaba actually is outranking some people. Um, Tesla, <laughs> wow. Okay, you're up against Tesla. Um, so it, you might be good to pick more specific kinds of things. This is. Um, in any case, you'll want to make sure that you get listed here. The way you get listed here is by starting a local Google My Business page. Um, so just, I don't remember, start a GMB page. Create my Google Business listing. Okay, so just follow these steps. Create a local Google Business listing uh, and make sure that people can find your office on Google My Business. If you already have this, then start filling up your Google My Business listing with all kinds of things about your business and just make adding photos, videos, uh, anything like that to your uh, Google business listing a regular part of your practice at least once a month but probably at least once a week you should be updating your Google my business listing and be listed within uh, your town for something like this right Bol buy solar panel for roof buy solar panel for home um, buy solar charger for iPhone I don't know, I'm just picking some random keywords. I don't know your market real well. Um, but so here's free classifieds in Pakistan. You could run classified ads um, as one way, you know, just find a bunch of ideas, spend a day uh, and, and come up with a whole bunch of ideas of things that your competitors are doing, right? So what is Heisel, no, oh, Heisel is big. Um, what are Pakistan solar traders doing? What is Solar Shop PK doing? Um, and then look at some of these other key phrases, right? Solar mobile charger price in Pakistan. Can you can you put together an article or um, if you don't have a website, you've got to have a website because this is how people are finding you today. Um, and I know that it's a little bit different in Pakistan, but honestly, you're going to get the most bang for your buck and the most, um, I guess... Uh, the person that's got the most disposable income is also going to be the person finding you on Google, um, finding you online. So as you said, you're doing a bunch of social stuff. I'm not sure what you're doing there, but um, these are the kinds of words you want to look for. This is what people are looking for. Solar mobile charger price. Solar, so they want to know what the price is. What's the price for a solar charger for my laptop? What's the uh, solar mobile charger price? Price is something I hadn't even thought of, but you could say here's a comparison of price of um, solar mobile chargers in Lahore right you could go here and get it for this price you could go here and get it for that price you put together an article put it up on your website and now you're trying to rank for uh, solar mobile charger price which is much easier probably to rank for than buy solar charger for iPhone um, I don't know but here's OLX here's Symbios but see now you're not competing against all the big guys um, you know, we don't see Tesla in this list um, because they're not trying to rank for that, right? So here's Karachi, here's Daraz, I'm sure that's another city. Solar paper price, I don't know what paper, solar paper is, uh, but you might. So anyway, I would start there. I would get a local Google local, uh, Google My Business site up. Um, and honestly, you know, when I first, the first search result we had was that Mr. Engineer page, right? This guy. Um, so he's making videos, Dogar helps, right? And these guys are ranking their videos. So when I search for your market, buy solar panel for home, the first three things that come up are videos. So these are the first things that people are gonna see. The other thing that can be really helpful is what is the best company for solar panels? Well, you could write an article on the top, you know, use Tesla, use, um, I don't even know. I don't remember, know who those players are in the space now. But how many solar panels does it take to run an air conditioner? Oh my gosh, here's an article you could write, literally this, and write a thousand words on how to how many solar panels does it take to run an air conditioner? Well, here's three considerations. 
Uh, how much power does your air conditioner take? How much charge do your solar panels get off, give off? And how much battery backup are you going to have? Uh, or maybe you don't want to talk at all about that. But uh, you know, if you go into any of these questions, how much does it cost for solar panels on your house? All right, uh, let's go into this. So what happens when you do that kind of a search? Google's going to give you more questions. How many solar panels, or what's the best company? But now we've got others. What are the two main disadvantages to solar energy? Can I get solar panels for free? Okay, well here's somebody who just wants to not spend any money, so that might not be your target market. Uh, but what are the two main disadvantages? Maybe not, that sounds kind of academic. How are solar cells manufactured? That's not really a, a buying keyword, right? You gotta think about what their intent is when they're looking. And you're, you've got limited time, uh, so you wanna make sure to put your effort and energy into something that's actually going to bring you a buying customer. These things are all probably not buying customers. This might be a buying customer though. They're starting sort of at the top of their search, right? Um, you've got top of top of mind search, middle of, well, we call it top of funnel, middle of, middle of funnel, and bottom of funnel. Your top of funnel person is like, well, I'd, I'm thinking about getting some solar panels in a year. Um, so maybe I'll start doing some research. That's this person. Well, what's the best company for that? right? Then maybe they're going to buy something in a couple of months or maybe in a month or they're kind of like, yeah, I think I'm ready to buy, but I need to know who I'm going to buy from. That could be middle of funnel. Um, this is somebody who's like, I want to run my air conditioner off a solar panel. So maybe they're kind of middle of funnel moving into bottom of funnel. But if you get someone who says buy a solar panel charger for my iPhone Lahore, Pakistan, that is somebody who wants to buy right now, right? They want to buy a solar panel charger for my iPhone in Pakistan. So you just have to think about like buying intent and what it is that people are looking for. Okay, that is the online game. For the local game, uh, I don't know how people find things in Pakistan. I don't know if there's like a, a coupon delivery service that sends coupons to people's houses or if you hang flyers on you know street on the street basically and say hey looking for a solar charger and people have like those little pull tab things um, Uh, so this would be an example of a pull tab flyer, right? So you could put these all around town, have somebody go around town and hang these up for you and say, looking for the best solar. I don't know if this is how people find things there or not. I know there's lots of places where like on college campuses, this is a huge deal. Um, but I don't know if that's your local market. You know, I don't know if it's classifieds or whatever. So what I would do is look at your competitors and see what they're doing. How, how are they advertising? Go look for them in newspapers. Go look for them in local coupon things. Um, you could even call them and and pretend to be doing a survey or something and be like, hey, uh, what are the top uh, places where you advertise your business? Or they may not tell you, but if you think about a different angle, you could go to them and say, you just want to learn everything that you can about your competitors and what they're doing and how they're being successful. And this is a great place to find your competitors is by thinking about the buying like if you think about who would be the perfect person to buy my product right and then you think uh what words would they type into google if they were coming to find me what words would they type in and not necessarily so that you can rank for this but so that you can find the people who are ranking for this and find out what they do because they have a successful business already and just duplicate what they do just find what it is they've already done to get to where they are and then do the same thing, right? So go find Mr. Engineer. Um, he's clearly trying to rank for Lahore, Pakistan, right? But he's ranking with his videos. He's number one in Google. It, it, I mean, and then he links to Azim Electronics from his. So we've got, note he doesn't link Smart Shop or he doesn't, or sorry, he doesn't rank for either one of these. Um, but he ranks for the video, and this video has 16,000 views. He's got 438,000 subscribers. He spends 37 minutes selling his product in a video. So when somebody comes to him, they're like, oh, okay, well, I'm ready to buy. Where do I go to buy? Right? He's got all of his social links in here. Um, so anyway, this is an option, uh, something you could do. Uh, you could also go look at his channel and see what all videos he's made. Right, so 
he's got solar panel I mean just look through his videos he's got lots of videos he's got little diagrams um, he's got videos here about how to check your solar panel wattage so just go research your competitors these are the people who are going to try and succeed over you in this market so go find out what they're doing and do it do what they're doing um, and pick some strategy in here you know find what they're doing and and just pick the strategy to follow them but hopefully I'm giving you something helpful here um, I don't know if you're doing all this stuff already or not but this hopefully go back and watch this video again watch it a couple of times because there's there's a lot of stuff in here um, if you're not doing some of these things I think they can help you have a lot more success so uh, yeah I would keep just looking you know risen solar panels who else is doing this? Oh, price in Pakistan, great. So what does this guy do? Is he just an affiliate or does he have a store for this stuff? It looks like he has a store for this stuff because that's all he talks about is solar panels. So go research what he's doing. This is a video ad basically, but it's free, right? He puts it up on YouTube and I don't know how many, oh, it's got 6,000 views. How many people did he have to do a presentation to? One, the video camera and then it presented for him 5,144 times. This one has 622,000 views. So basically what he's doing is taking his time, effort, and energy, putting it into one video, uploading that video once, getting ranked for that video, and then letting it sell for him so that when people come to him, they've already heard his sales pitch, and they're like, okay, just I've got a few questions, and then I'm ready to buy. Right. So you want to do something similar, perhaps, but come up with a strategy but before you even come up with a strategy, just go learn. Uh, learn about everything that your competitors are doing and then figure out what your strategy is going to be. All right, hopefully that's helpful and I uh, hope you're having a great day. Thanks.